Welcome to our Beersmith tutorial on creating a personal equipment profile. One of the first things you should do when starting to use Beersmith is create an equipment profile that matches your personal brewing equipment. Beersmith uses your profile in many of its internal calculations. Start by selecting the Equipment view from the shortcut pane. Select an existing equipment profile that most closely matches your equipment. I'm going to start with a 6-gallon pot and a glue mash cooler since I'm an all-grain brewer. Right-click on the Equipment Profile and select the Duplicate button. This will make a copy of the Equipment Profile that you can edit. Double-click on your copy to edit it. Enter the name of your new Equipment Profile. If you're an all-grain brewer, you can enter your mash tun volume, weight, and mash tun material here. You can adjust the mash tun specific heat later if you find your mash in temperatures are off. For all grain brewers, enter the lauder tun dead space as well as top off water if desired. For boil volume, you can either enter a volume or allow Beersmith to calculate the boil volume from the final volume and losses. In most cases, I let this be calculated automatically. Enter your normal boil time here usually either 60 or 90 minutes. Enter the evaporation rate, which for most home brewers is between 10 and 15 percent per hour. Enter losses due to boil, trub, and chiller. For cooling loss, I recommend leaving your value at 4 percent. If you're an extract or partial mash brewer working from small boil pot, you may need to enter a few gallons of top-up water. The top-up water is the water you add after the boil to reach your final volume. The final volume represents the batch size or volume going into the fermenter. Most home brewers brew either 5 or 10 gallon batches. You can also enter notes if desired. Finally, the hop utilization factor is used primarily by microbreweries for batches larger than 20 gallons. The average home brewer should leave this setting at 100%. Press OK to save your equipment profile. We now have a custom equipment profile created. The next thing to do is set it as the default. Select the Options command on the Tools menu. If you've not already done so, you can enter your name and preferred brewing type here. Click the Choose button to select your new equipment profile. Select the one that you just created. Press OK to save your settings. Now when I create a new recipe in Beersmith, it will automatically have my brew type and my equipment profile set as the default. Thank you for watching this video on creating a personal equipment profile. For more videos or a free trial version of Beersmith, please visit our website at beersmith.com.